Today was demolition day for Milwaukee's transit center clock tower on Michigan Street along the lakefront. With the concrete structure gone, space is now made for a multi-million dollar project. Veronica Macias has more. Hardly anyone came out today for demolition day. However, there were some people who came out not for nostalgic sentiment, but for the excitement of what's to come. I mean, we've been planning this job since September last year. Demolition day fell on one of the coldest days of the season so far. In frigid temperatures, crews were up bright and early for the tower's final hours. And our demolition contractor actually torch cut the columns and had a piece of equipment on the north side of the building, kind of holding it up as a, as a lever. And then once all the columns were cut, they tipped it over and everything went real well. Seconds, the clock tower came down, and within the next month or so, contractors will have the space cleared for construction of the Couture building. Being a young professional, it's kind of cool to know that your city is growing. Devin Roses missed the demolition by a few hours, though the excitement of Milwaukee's changing lakefront didn't keep him from bringing his mom out to the corner of East Michigan in the freezing weather. Having worked downtown for a while now and living downtown, it's kind of cool to see everything go up the way that it is now. So I wanted to show my mom here some of the developments that are happening. While there were lawsuits and groups like Preserve Our Parks who opposed the selling of the space to a private developer, the tower went down without any protest. Only one demonstrator braved the elements. The county says construction of the Couture building will create 2,000 jobs plus add to the property tax base. Reporting in downtown Milwaukee, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. And the Couture is expected to cost $122 million and it will take two years to complete.